Make it happen at the end, my friend. Take something up here. You're ready to rock and roll. Alright guys, here we are today at the Daytona International Speedway, where we started off the season at. It's going to be a great race here today, I'm very sure of it, as we have Seth Cole, last year's winner of this race here, on the front row, alongside rookie Justin Acosta, and there's Pichu and Cody Lamas in the next row. Here we go, green flags are about to come out here at Daytona, it's going to be a great race here today, let's see what happens. As Seth makes them, uh, as the pace car makes the move to the uh, pit lane. Here we go. Seth Cole gonna try to go for two in a row in this race. Two seasons. Here we go. Down the, down into the first corner. Peachy's gonna get to the inside. He's gonna make a run on the bottom. But that 20 Toyota, Joe Gibbs, is right there. Very fast here today. We'll block up that 38. But here comes the six on the bottom of Jack Rasmussen, Jack Rasmussen getting pushed by another Ford, the Valvoline uh, Retro of Brian Acosta, he's looking for another win, he's up here, there goes the 55 of Aaron Mason, Aaron Mason could have won the Daytona 500 here in season 5, there he goes on the bottom, getting pushed by the new driver in the 27, Joshua Collard, and here comes, Joshua Collard has teammates right behind him, Kevin, uh, Aaron Williams, and Alexander Williams, but then they go side by side, in the corner, who's going to lead the first line, the second gun put, the 44 is right on the back bumper of him, but it looks like Seth is going to be out front in that Toyota, and he's going to lead it right here, here he goes, down the straightaway, right there goes Seth Cole, going to bleed down to the inside line, pick up the Ryan Acosta, and lead the first lap, there's two Valvoline, uh, Ford's in here for Richard Petty, the 9 of Charles Jackson, and there's the 44 in the blue, Petty Blue, going go to the lead here, already, being pushed by the 55 Toyota, Aaron Mason, here comes the 27, going to try to put that nose down there, going to try to get down to the second second spot, Joshua College getting pushed by his two teammates, and look at Richard Childress showing up on the bottom, here they go, down the back, straight away, into the corner, right there, here he goes up, Aaron Mason goes up the racetrack, and these guys are making it work right now, but there you see the 6 and the 20. They're not trying to go 3 wide, but there you see that colorful 48 on the bottom of the right there. There's Michael Norman, Tim Feigl, had his best career finish last week at California. He's up there in the middle. They're going to make a move down there. And then you see the 44. Move up in front of the 27. There's the 31 down the 
And on the turn one, gonna try to make the move. Oh, the 44 almost slid up. But there's Drake Rodriguez. He's losing grip. He's gonna go three wide in the corner. There's the 99. Gonna try to suck up and get to the back of him. We're lap three through this race. A 20 right here. This pressing floor down the back jet. But there's a 29 getting pushed by his teammate. Three Richard Childers cars up near the front. Right here, Aaron Williams. Trying to get back to form after having a bad race at his home track. Oh, and the 77 got loose in the middle. Oh, we got a wreck. The wreck. Oh, we got a wreck in the back. I don't know who that was, but they're coming three wide through the corner. And caution is out here at lap four, a 20. And then they go down the straightaway. And I think Karen Williams beats Alexandra to the line. And caution is out here. And I believe it was a big one here. Okay. We got guys up in the wall. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Cool it, guys. Cool it. Got those guys in the wall. They need to cool it a little bit as they're slowing down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 77. There's Deion Scott up here in that red 78. Nice paint scheme by that 78, by the way. I think i seen Cameron Gilson get involved in something. Oh, Cameron Gilson. Yep. I was right. Cameron Gilson. That 10 car is not too good. Not too good at Daytona and that Lincoln Park number 10 is done here today. Scraped that thing up. And I think they were getting together up here. Tyson Broad got a bit of it. Luke Walker got into it. Hayden Klein. I think that's who is that? Sean Henley. Uh, 21 got some damage a little bit. Xavier Livingston. Kosanowski dodged it. Sean didn't get too much damage though. Let's see what happened after we go, after they take pit stops here. But I don't think it was too big. But uh, it looked like it happened right in turn three. Uh, Danny Wells looked like he got a little clip into it. Along with uh, the 51 Exxon Chevrolet of uh, Jacob Lawler. But I don't think anybody got too much damage. But there you see Lyndon Wright in the 17. Trying to play strategy already. Staying out. Along with that 22 of uh, Hayden Klein. Staying out already. Got these, got these guys coming down pit road already. And there's Dougie Shears in the three sun drop three for Richard Childress race and there he is right there there's a second Jack Rasperson as they're coming down the road there's a uh, Deion Scott in his pit lane there's James McLeod very colorful 48 by the way going down into his pit lane there's Seth so let's uh, see who's gonna get off first and it's looking like it's looking like uh, oh, Richard Johnson has a better pit selection for some reason um, but it looks like it looks like Aaron Williams and Alexander Williams are gonna get off first. Seth's gonna lose a bit of positions on pit road. It looks like he was taking a four tire stop. Let's see what happened. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look from TV One here. There you see him three wide down here, and somebody's gonna get in, knock into somebody right here. I don't know who it's gonna be. Oh, oh, oh right there. Oh, right there. Yep, Sean Henley. Oh, Jeremy McMurray hard up in the wall. Sean got in the. It looked like the 07, a Tyson Broad, then the 22 goes up in the wall. Tyson Broad, hard into the wall. Cameron Gilson just nowhere to go. He just takes a shot up into the wall. Not too hard of a shot. Luke Walker got a piece of it. Justin Perry, Jeremy McMurray got thrown up into the wall. Uh, let's go back one more time and take a look at this. Cameron Gilson got the worst of it in the Lincoln Park uh, Chevy. And, um... You go right here and take a look from this angle. These guys are like these guys are separating from each other, which they usually do at Daytona. And then they got a little bit sucked around right here, and you're gonna see it right there. Sean gets a little bit close. Sean did the exact same thing in the nationwide race, but that in that race he didn't get wrecked. But you see the 07 and the 42, the 14 getting a piece of it, but the 10 and the 43 of Austin Ogo got the biggest damage in that. But Cameron Gilson slides down and. There you see um, Tyson Braw got a bit bit of damage as well. But Austin Ogo will continue. I do not know about Cameron Gilson. But uh, one more look here. See from Spectre, you can see the contact right here. Cameron Gilson in the middle. There you see right there he makes contact with Sean. And just nothing you could do right there. And Cameron gets T-boned by Tyson Braw. And there you see the 18 and the 22 of Hayden Klein getting a little bit. Oh, 07 had insult the injury going up into the wall, and then you see the 10 sliding down at Cameron Gilson. 
Take it to green flag. Guys, we're about to go back to green flag. Cameron Gilson has sustained a lot of damage, and he is out of the race. But here comes the 17, and there's the 22 of Hayden Klein. Hayden Klein has a bit of damage. It's going to be fun to watch him up there, but he has a lot of damage, so he'll probably get freight trained by most of the drivers up here. But there's Joshua Collard. The Richard Childress group has been up here already, and they uh, and they have been showing what they got. But the 22 on the inside of Hayden Klein is two of the slower cars up here, and they're going to get freight trained. Oh, man, this ain't good. The 17 is going to try to go, try to stay up there, but they're goes on the bottom goes Joshua Collar here comes the 16 and the 78 on the bottom here comes where, where which way will Dion Scott go and there's the post sitter of Seth Cole lost a bunch of positions on pit road but there's the 44 pushing up the 29 they're gonna get by the solar traffic on the bottom here comes Hayden Klein Hayden Klein trying to move up oh it's gonna cause something He's trying to move up, and that just slowed down most of the pack, and these three will get away. Hayden, uh, not Hayden, Klein, Aaron Mason pushing Aaron, Ryan Acosta and Aaron Williams out front. Could have won the Daytona 500, and now you got these guys sucked up behind the slow, slow car of uh, Hayden Klein who stayed out. He's sitting up there, right there in fourth position, but a lot of guys are trying to get by, and there's Deion Scott on the bottom, and he's holding up on the inside line. This Dougie shit getting pushed on the outside by Jack Rasmussen. Jack Rasmussen pushing by all the mess. There they go. Oh, this, oh my God, the teammates almost got together. Here they go down the back. This is the 29. Look at the 24 up against the wall, and the 22 is slowing down again. Look at the 99 has to ride up the 13 of Eric Burton. Right behind the 99, there's James McLeod stuck behind them. And they're going to have to make moves down the pit road. And the 78, too bad for him because he has just lost a lot of position. So much of these guys just lost a lot. We cut a Hayden Klein in the 22 off pit sequence. But these guys are still three wide back here. That could be a problem. They see, they see, uh, they see the Visine uh, Ford of Hayden Klein. Uh, not Hayden Klein. Uh, 17 of Lyndon Wright coming off pit road, but there's his teammate right there along with another Ford of Justin Acosta. Fords have been pretty strong at this place. And Ryan Acosta is trying to show that he could be the next one to win. They go down, they might have to pit here soon. There's a Red Bell racing with Dylan Poteet. These guys have just silenced everybody, right? Oh, oh, Aaron Mason! He is blowing up! Oh, no! And he's going to slow, and he's going to slow these guys up. And Aaron Mason just blew up. Oh, my God. Michael Waltrip engines have just been failing this season. And they fail once again. Aaron Mason almost blew up right in front of the whole pack. And this pack is a big pack. Of right here. Look at, look at, and look at these guys slide up into each other. There's a 21 through the middle. Look at the 18 trying to make it four wide down there. And they're catching these lot of traffic. But Aaron Mason will be the next one to retire he had just he had just not had the season this season he almost won the Daytona 500 and then comes here has a great car and then it's all for not here there's a 21 oh and these guys are slowing down again they're making moves they might have to pit this having a two though oh oh we had a problem we got it 38 to round and cautioned out again I would think so and somebody's scraping the wall Oh man, Eric Burton almost made big contact with somebody. But I don't know where Aaron Mason is at on the track. There he is right there. Aaron Mason running in the second position, having a chance here at Daytona. And it blows up right in his face as the 38 a spun coming down pit road. Oh my god. Oh, and then the 81 stops. I don't know what's going on up here. It's Kyle Sanoski and James Qualls. Both of them have been kind of quiet tonight. Oh, 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 they're having problems getting together over here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 come on, guys. Don't do it. Oh, oh, two runs in the back. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Oh, oh, 11 runs in the back. Okay, they're good. There's Sean Henley. He's made up a few spots. Had to get in problems. There's Barney Ward. Barney Ward and James Claus got together last week. Haven't heard too much from both of them tonight. And Kyle Sanoski. Got a little bit of damage to the back of his car. But uh, we're going to have to see who pits. But uh, Aaron Mason is out of this race with a header problem. And there goes hey, and there goes the 17, standing out once again. He's been doing that all race tonight. And there's Joshua College. Joshua College must have gotten to the wall. 
Jake Drake Rodriguez got his teammate in the 12 right behind him a red bell and you see the three the Dougie Shear down there in the sun drop three he's up there in the third position these guys better have some good pit stops as Aaron Williams has had one of the great cars here tonight he has really bounced back in a big way and you see Hayden Klein staying out there again I had to see if that pit strategy works out for those guys but let's see who comes off pit road first here and it looks like it looks like somebody else is staying out. I think that's Justin Acosta. Well, he already pitted because he came down when that was happening. So he, he'll get his lap back. And there's Aaron Williams coming off first. Joshua Collard, the Richard Childress teammates have been really dominate. And uh, great one by the 27 as well. But uh, uh, as we documented, anything can, could happen here. And uh, Richard Johnson had a slow pit stop. Let's see what happened. Well, he found out where the 27 got his contact from. Joshua Collard. Watch this. 38 comes down on Joshua Collard. Joshua Collard did. And he slides right up in the wall. Look at Drake Rodriguez. How the hell did he miss that 27? That could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse. But anyway, there's uh, Justin, Justin Acosta spins. And how does this whole pack dodge him? That was crazy, man. That could have been the biggest wreck of the season right there. That pack would have hit him. He got lucky, man, this, where he was on the racetrack, man. Because if that was in that pack, that would have been a problem. This is coming down off right here. 27 was trying to not get into him. You see, he comes down right here. Comes down trying to pit. 27 hits him. Look at Drake Rodriguez. Watch that. Drake Rodriguez just stops and doesn't... Uh, he knows that the 27 is coming back up. And then watch the 38 spinning. He's on the track. He's not on pit road. That's why the caution comes out. And he backs that thing up. And he's about to get hit again. Look at that whole pack missing. Oh, my God. That was that, that could have took out some drivers right there, man. Oh, and then the 28 slowed up in front of these guys. And that was a, almost a big problem. Again, let's ride on board with Drake Rodriguez. This man has some skill here. That is why he's driving for Penske. <laughs> well, yeah, he has some skill. I see in that car. But anyway, let's ride on board with him. Watch this. Ah, oh, how the how do you miss that, man? But that is a uh, great driving by him. Okay, this is a final restart. So if anything happens here, it's over. Here we go down the, down the straightaway. Ryan Acosta has his brother, Justin Acosta. They work together in the truck race. Can they work together and get it up here and win this race? But there goes Jack Rasmussen. He already knows how to win at a super speedway. As he goes to the bottom, he's going to try to go to the fourth position. But Aaron Williams, he pitted, and he's not going to try to lose at Daytona again. He's in the third spot, just like he was in the Daytona 500. There he goes. And he's got his teammate coming. Dougie Shears. There's Drake Rodriguez. Drake Rodriguez has his teammate. There his teammate is on the bottom. Who's going to get it? They're going to lap 17. They're going to have three. Three laps. They got to have three, uh, four laps to go this time. There goes a 44, and Evan Gattuso is on pit road. He has a problem. And then we go down the straightaway. There are three wide down here. They're going to take lap 17. Here they go. The 44 out front. Teammate, not teammates, but could be teammates because they're brothers and they have Fords. But anyway, they're out front here because it's six. Three fours at the front of the pack. Drake Rodriguez got led to the outside. Here comes the 29 up there trying to help him. There you see the 44, but his brother is helping him. There's Dylan Pote. Where has he come from? He's on the bottom getting pushed by the 16. Michael Norman. There's the three. Tucky Shears. Any of these guys can win. They're coming to lap 18. There's Justin Acosta. Look at him right up. Here comes the 12. Gets it to the six, but he saves it. Down the back. Just, they're coming to lap 18. Three laps to go here in the Daytona night race. There's the 38. On the bottom, the 24 is pushing him for all his life. Dylan Posty trying to get his first win here in, here at Daytona in the in season five. But there he goes on the bottom. There's James McLeod catching up to the pack. Is any of these guys races? There's a 44 getting pushed on the outside. There's two teammates. Teammates on the outside line. Drake Rodriguez, Red Bell. There they go on the outside. There's jo uh, 
And then they go down the back stretch. There's Jacob Lawler. Jacob Lawler's coming. The 38's holding up that bottom line. But here they come to the bottom. To the bottom goes Drake Rodriguez in the 29. But that 38 is holding up the bottom pack. And I don't know what's going on right now. But there's the 39 and the 6. And the 77 is pitting. Oh, these guys are pitting before they come. But... But this is it. This goes a five car right now. But here comes the 44. But here comes the 12 of Red Bell. Drake Rodriguez had the pit. And some of you guys got left out. Trying to get their drafting partners back. There you see the 07. And there's the 44 up the racetrack. Here they come. Here comes Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams is going to have to get some help here. Or Red Bell is going to win. Red Bell is right out there, but there's Cody Lamas and there's Dylan Pote. These guys are going to have to give some help to each other right now. Or Red Bell is going to go away with this one. Oh, no, but she's slowing down. Is she going to have to pit? Uh, yes. These guys are pitting. Who's going to have the lead? It's going to be Preston Plord. Preston Plord out front. He's going to take lap 20. And Preston Plord is in the lead. And there's Dougie Shears and Eric Burton. Eric Burton goes to the second spot on Dougie Shears. They're coming off pit road. Who's going to get? Oh, they wrecked. They wrecked coming on pit road, but that didn't cause nothing. Tim Feigl, Danny Wells. Who's going to win this? It's Preston Floyd. He's out front, but he's slowing down. Dougie Shears. There's Eric Burton. Who's going to win? They're coming down on lap traffic. The 42 slowing down. He got involved in something. Here's the 38. They come up on him. They're side by side. Eric Burton slowing down. There's Pitton. Dougie Shears. Seth Cole. And James McLeod. This is who it's going to be. Between, I guess. No. They're all Pitton. Who's going to win the race? I don't know. Ugh. And they all Pitted. But who's going to win? I think Preston Pro will still have it. Wait, yes, and Preston Plord will win on pit road. Preston Plord wins here at Daytona. And that is his third win of the season. And he wins in dramatic fashion. Wow. I have not seen that. He won coming down pit road past the line and won the race. And we had a wreck at the end of this. Let's see what happened here. Oh! Oh, James Qualls got turned! That's the second week in a row. He gets wrecked at the end of the race. He finished 34th. Had a terrible day. I think he got involved in that last crash, too. But coming down the pit lane, he gets spun again. Oh, and the 42 almost caused something. I don't know where the 6 is going. And how about Sean Henley? He finishes 5th. Wow. And Aaron Williams and Joshua Collier back up, got back up there. And Ryan Acosta got back up there to finish in the 10th position. But Seth Cole, I thought Seth had a chance, but he was off pit sequence. I thought he was going to win twice in a row. But we got some things to show you guys, man. Cody Lamas almost had that, but he had the pit. I don't know where he, he finished 11. Jacob Lawler with a decent finish. There's all these guys coming down here. But we have a we have a couple things to show you guys. Let's see what happened here. Coming down pit road with the 98. Well, guys, I don't know what this is all about as my feet are kind of sleeping on me. But um, watch this. This is coming down. Watch this. The pit row. Watch uh, Luke Walker. Uh, Kyle, Kyle comes up in the Luke Walker, and I don't know what that was about. Him and Luke Walker get together, and then Richard Johnson got hit from the back because uh, the 5 and the 98, and then the 43 is going to come in and hit very hard in the Kyle. Oh, man. How did that not cause a caution? I think that was on pit road. But wow, that was a that was crazy right there. Austin Ogo got he knocked the hell out of um Kyle. 
the Nationwide Series winner here, Kyle Sanoski. There he is right there. Come on, pit road 19. These guys were dropping off. That's when uh that's when they were coming down for the last lap. And there you go right there. Uh there you go. 18 right there goes up in the Kyle. And I don't know, this temper's flaring right there. Luke Walker and Kyle Sanoski getting together. Then Kyle gets knocked behind by Danny, and that's Rex uh uh, Tim Feigl as well. They, they, those guys are not going to be too happy. And then Austin Ogo comes in. And, oh, and I don't think that's it. I think somebody else comes in as well. But uh, Luke Walker, Richard Johnson, Austin Ogo, Danny Wells, Kyle Sinoski, Tim Feigl. And uh, something happened to the 42. Or did he already have damage? I don't know. Something happened to him. I think he uh, was this coming. This was coming down pit road too. No, he might have already had damage, Jeremy Murray. I don't know where that came from though. Yeah, I think I don't know. Yeah, he already had damage. But then let's uh, let's see what let's fast forward and see what happened to James Qualls. James Qualls already had damage from something. But uh, let's fast forward a little bit. I think this is, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I think it was right over here. It's on the, this is on the cool down lap after the race. Watch this. 31's right behind him. He finishes 33rd. I think Alexander Williams finished 34th. This is after the race. Watch this. Alexander Williams, and they were coming down the pit lane, I think. And then watch this. Right here. Right there. <laughs> Alexander Williams just turns James Qualls and James goes sliding down. So James is not going to feel the success of what he had last week winning. He's sliding down here. And wow, we had a lot of stuff happen almost at the end of the race. But uh, Preston Plour comes out of nowhere to win the race here in the 16. His third win of the season. Preston Plour. And Dougie Shears almost won his second race of the season. Eric Burton still cannot get that win. He's right up there, though, but still cannot be. Yeah, he's right up there in points and everything, but just cannot get a win. Luke Walker, I had no idea what he was thinking. And yeah, there you go. All right, guys, we are here for the results. Um, and Preston Plour gets his third win, so he's looking pretty good here this season. And, um... Really liking what he's uh, doing in, with Roush. Roush has really been uh, looking pretty good. But as we go down, you see Dougie Shears, Eric Burton, strong runs. Sean gets back into the fifth spot. Joshua Collar uh, rummages back to the top ten. Aaron Williams, Red Bell, Xavier Livingston, Ryan Acosta in the top ten. Now get him farther up in the points. Ryan Cooper, top 20. Seth, 15th. James McLeod, pretty good day. Michael Norman, 20th, same position he finished in. Uh, Truck racers, Danny Wells, Tim Feigl, William Duncan, uh, Cameron Gilson dead last, uh, Aaron Mason blowing up, had a chance to win. Uh, same thing, he had one of the best cars that brought his Daytona 500 car back, and there's Cameron Gilson, Evan Gattuso had a bad run. Here today, he got involved in the wreck, I believe, or he had problems on pit road when lap down. Um, there's Tim Feigl, Lyndon Wright, James Cole got caught a lap down, spun at the end of the race. And, um, there you go. And there's James Quas still in the lead, but in the lead barely a little bit. Still big lead over Eric Burton, but Eric Burton now gets up to the second spot over Richard Johnson in points. So Eric Burton looking to try to take that points lead here. These last few races, there's uh, Richard Johnson, Peachy Walker, Aaron Williams, moves back up to six in the points. Jack Rasmussen, Danny Wells, Kasanowski, Seth Cole moves up to 10th in the points. Uh, back to where he was last season, trying to get back in that points lead, but I don't think it'll happen. Trent Dunham, Jacob Lawler moves up. Alexander Williams, William Duncan, Justin Acosta, um, Ryan Acosta, Red Bell, James McLeod, top 20 in points now. And there you go. The points, a lot of guys still doing bad in the points here. Aiden Klein. Uh, Charles Jackson, Ryan Cooper, Sean, Sean Henley. A lot of guys need to have some good runs to even think about trying to get up in the chase. But uh, there you go.
We'll see you next week. James, call your points leader.